You are taking a live look at the U.S. Senate tonight, where moments ago the chamber narrowly approved a bill that raises the debt ceiling and therefore keeps the U.S. from defaulting on its debt. Good evening, I'm Dan Wolf. Thanks for joining us. After months of fear a debt limit compromise wouldn't be reached in time to avert a financial crisis, within just the last few minutes, the Senate approved and sent the debt bill to the president for his signature. Uh, here's what Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said just before the voting began tonight when he knew he had the votes. I am pleased, so pleased, to announce that both sides have just locked in an agreement that enables the Senate to pass legislation tonight avoiding default. Now, while the bill passed, it still received no votes from a handful of Republicans and a few Democrats. And those differing views represented by senators in Minnesota and Wisconsin. Northern News Now's Cara Kopp is tracking that angle for us tonight. Cara, what are you hearing? Yes, Minnesota Democratic Senator Amy Klobuchar and Wisconsin Republican Senator Ron Johnson are on opposite ends of the political spectrum. And it showed tonight in their respective takes on the debt ceiling. As for Klobuchar, she knew a majority of the Senate would vote in favor of the deal reached by the President and House Speaker. She says it protects Social, Social Security and Medicare while helping our nation avoid financial ruin. When you have the stake of the country's economy right in front of you, and you also have the opportunity to make sure that you protect priorities and you also reduce the deficit, um, you forge what agreement you can. Klobuchar says a two-year agreement will help avoid debt limit drama in the near future. The senator also cites the CBO, who claims the legislation would reduce the deficit by about $1.5 trillion over 10 years. That's all, very, that's all a very different take compared to what Wisconsin Republican Ron Johnson has expressed. He called this all a, quote, phony crisis. Johnson called the, tre the Treasury Secretary's integrity into question in a conversation with the Washington Examiner. He said that Janet Yellen would, should make sure the nation will secure its debt and take care of Social Security. Regardless of what happens in Congress, Johnson was a no vote on tonight's legislation. All right, thank you, Cara. Look for much more reaction to tonight's vote overnight at northernnewsnow.com and tomorrow morning on Northern News Now Today. We turn now 